So, when do I have to move out? I get this question a lot, more often than you may think. So here's the answer. Possession of a property is typically transferred at closing. So if you are moving into a new house and you have to be out of your current house that you live in, you need to have a plan. How and when are you going to get from your current home to your next home? And most of the time, when you close the sale, a buyer gets the keys right at the closing table. So, unless some creative planning was negotiated up front, you have to be out of your home before closing. If you haven't arranged early occupancy at the next house or arrange to stay at your house a couple days longer after closing, which we call a rent back, and both of those can be very difficult to arrange, then the seller of the house that you are buying doesn't want the liability of you living in a house before you have closed on it. You are going to have to have a plan. We typically suggest placing household goods into a pod or some kind of movable storage container. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive than renting a storage unit, but it is the simplest way to move because you just move everything into the pod then the pod company, they come and they move everything to your next house. So everything is stored in that one place, or sometimes you need multiple pods, but they all move with you at one time. So rather than having to rent a moving truck, rent a storage unit for a few days, then take everything off the moving truck and into the storage unit, then getting the truck again, loading it up and moving it to your house. It's just so much simpler. And it's important for you to have a plan of what you are going to do before your house goes under contract. And in our fast paced market, this becomes even more important. I've got some ideas to share with you and I've also got a pods coupon if you need it. As always, I want to set you up for selling success.